really great. We're here in Silver Plana for the first ever Snowboard Silver Plana uh, World Cup and we've got perfect weather uh, as you can see and it's uh, yes, yeah, so great to be here. Yeah, I love the park here. Um, I've actually spent the most amount of time in one place this season here, which is crazy because uh, before this year I'd never been here and I had no plans to actually come here but the way the season planned out I've spent uh, quite a few weeks here and I really really enjoy riding park. No I didn't expect to get on any podiums this season I think all the finals that I've been in have been really stacked finals and um, yeah, honestly yeah I'm just really happy with the way that I was able to ride and um, and put runs down. I think we had some challenging conditions, especially in Larks, so to put a run down there was uh, really good. And yeah, it's nice to be, it's nice to be competitive this season. I feel like uh, in previous seasons, I've sort of been just a number in the field, but now I can sort of call myself a bit more of a competitive rider, which is, it's more exciting to be honest. It's really fun. Chumpy, Chumpy has been a massive role model my whole life. Uh, I met him when I was about 11. Uh, we did spend quite a bit of time together and I used to be really into border cross racing. I loved it and to be honest, that was where I sort of saw my snowboard career going was border cross, but um, Chumpy was really great in helping me get into that that side of things and he was always super supportive, took me under his wing when we go and do the races up at uh, Mount Hotham and I was really lucky to have that. He was so kind to, so kind to everyone um, and even after I moved away from Border Cross he always kept supporting me and I'd see him around everywhere, see him in the gym back home which was always really nice so yeah it was, it was so tragic when we lost Chumpy. And yeah, to be honest, it really affected me quite a lot because he's been my number one role model for forever. But um, it, it's really amazing how the community uh, really rallied around him and his family and um, did a lot of great things for them and raised a lot of money too, because obviously it's a really difficult time for, for them all. And even still, I know that they're still definitely hurting and I think it'll last a long time, but I think it just, uh, when tragic events like that happen, it really shows the community that we have in snowboarding. And um, yeah, it was just, it was really nice to see everyone come together and really appreciate someone like that because I think for me growing up, he was always a great snowboarder, but on top of that, he was a great person. And I think as a role model, it's more than how you ride your snowboard these days. It's what kind of person you are as well. You might be the best snowboarder, but if you don't have a great personality, I don't think people will look up to you. And he just had it both, which was really cool. And I was super lucky to know him. Uh, for a lot of people, they would remember Chumpy for the incident that he had, which is kind of sad to me because I remember him for so, so many better and bigger things. Uh, I have so many great memories of him and I'm really fortunate for that and I would rather keep that idea of him alive than rather the way that he left. Uh, he left us so so yeah I do, I do definitely try and talk about him with a smile because that's how I feel about him and I think it was definitely hard at the start to do that because you just got really sad but now I feel really grateful to have known him and I would really like to keep sharing his story because even though he's not here, he still inspires me so much and I'm really lucky for that and I hope that he can still inspire other people that didn't know him or that are coming up in the sport because, yeah, he really shaped my snowboarding career and where I am and I would confidently say that I wouldn't be where I am today without him so I'm just really lucky to have had him in my life for sure. Oh, my personality, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think I try and bring, um, I don't know, maybe a bit of a bubbly approach to snowboarding. Um, I think after going through some injuries and stuff and spending quite a bit of time off, I've realised how privileged I am to be here. Uh, it's an incredible sport, but not a lot of people get these opportunities that we do. And I think before that, I didn't really um, acknowledge that enough yeah how uh, privileged I am to be in this position to be riding traveling the world and especially in these times because especially in Australia there's a lot of people stuck 
at home that, uh, that can't leave and can't fly over here. So uh, I think this season more than ever, I've really just tried to do it for the people at home, do it with a, do it with a smile on my face. Yeah, definitely some days are pretty tough and it's kind of hard to do that, but you just got to remember that we're here and it's not going to last forever. So got to make the most of it for sure.